think I got my colors for my sky puzzle ball. Let's get this ball rolling. Today, I'd like to show you how to crochet a sky-themed Amish puzzle ball and a few tips for learning the art of a mega roomy. This project is divided into eight videos, so if you subscribe, it'll be easier to find the other parts when they're posted. The yarns I'm using to make my sky puzzle ball are size 6 pixie pink, size 6 almond, size 5 honey, size 5 ivory, and size 6 black and white. If you're curious what that sound is, don't stress. It's just a small rip in time and space. It's to be expected when making yarn appear magically. My first attempt didn't turn out too great. I only put a single crochet in the second hole of each row, but that gave me a pizza shaped triangle and I need a 90 degree triangle to make a perfect fourth of a circle. So in addition to only putting one in the second hole, I also skipped the second to last hole. Let me show you what I mean. I started by making a slip knot and then 11 chain links. So long as you keep the same tension on all of your triangles, your circle should turn out even if your triangle length doesn't quite match up to mine. Now I want to make a turn, so I skip the first chain and go into the second. That'll give me a nice corner. Since I want to make a 45 degree corner for a triangle shape, I'll only put one single crochet stitch here, but later you'll see how to make a square or a 90 degree turn. Next I put one single crochet in each hole. There should be 10 at the end. In the last stitch, I'll pull up the little tail with my working string, but if you aren't sure of your pattern, it may be best to wait to tuck it in later. Then I turn my project, and just like when I made the first turn, again, I will skip the first hole and go for the second. Now, for rows two through four, which would be this one, I also skip the second to last hole. You'll see what I mean. Now that I'm at the end of my second row, I'll skip the second to last hole and go straight for the last one. This will bring my triangle to a more obtuse angle. At the end of each row, it's important to remember to pick up the extra little stitch that was the stitch that you skipped at the beginning of the previous row. So when you go to make your last stitch, you should have three threads looped over your hook. All forms of art, as well as everything in life, have at least one thing in common. It's all made up of circles, squares, and triangles linked together by lines. When I go to draw a dog, I don't just draw a dog. I draw a variety of sizes of ovals and rectangles connected by lines that together make a dog. You know what I mean? Once you understand the basic idea or theory of a megarumi, crocheting a dog will be just as simple, though a bit more time consuming. In the last three rows, I only skipped the first hole and not the second to last hole so that my triangle would have a more defined peak. And then I left a few inches of extra yarn to use for sewing up the two triangle pieces. I used the string of one triangle to go up one side and the string of the other triangle to go up the other side. It worked out perfect. Next, I need three belts that are 40 rows long, plus one row between each section. Also, it's important to remember to take plenty of breaks so your pup doesn't get lonely. I started my belt by chain linking three and inserting three single crochets into that first row. I skipped the first hole and put two single crochets in the second hole 
and one single crochet in the last hole. When I wanted to increase the row by one stitch, I would insert a single crochet before I started the row. And when I wanted to decrease, I would skip the second to last hole, like I did on the triangles. The belt has four ovals that are made up of ten lines, or rows, and the pattern here to the left shows that the first two rows have three single crochets, the third row has four single crochets, the fourth and fifth row have five single crochets, and then it starts decreasing. In the sixth row, there's four single crochets, and in the seventh and eighth row, three single crochets, and then in the ninth, tenth, and eleventh row, two single crochets. This yarn is great for stuffed animals because you can't see the individual crochets. But for that same reason, you can't rely on your eyes to see where to put your hook. You'll have to feel your way through this one. Just be sure to pick up both threads of each crochet so it pulls evenly everywhere. This project is perfect for learning the basic theory of amigurumi because the steps of the pattern will increase in difficulty. These triangles that we start with teach you the chains and double stitches and how to make 40 to 5 degree turns. The next step will require even more turns and more attention to detail. Fortunately for me, crocheting is arguably the most forgiving art that there is. It understands that I have other responsibilities in life, but unlike painting, when I come back I can turn it to the side and count the humps. So long as I'm patient. And I am. I'll keep going and meet you back here after I repeat that oval pattern four times and I have all my triangles together. Finishing 24 little triangles takes some time, but it's a pretty satisfying feeling to finish each one. At the end of each belt, I left about two feet of extra yarn to use to sew the triangles on. My belt pattern begins in the second hole of the triangle, so when I get to the end, I'll have to crochet another row of two to fill up the beginning of my first triangle. Now I'll put one link in between each of my 10 loop triangles and it should fill up my 44 row belt. Right here, after I sew up one side of the belt, I'll switch wands and crochet another row of two 
to close up my triangle and connect my circle. Then I switch back to my needle, connect my circle, and as I finish sewing up the other side of my belt, I'll stuff my triangles with whatever stuffing's available. If this video helped you in any way, please return the favor by becoming a subscriber. Pressing that little button doesn't cost anything and hardly takes any time, but it'll sure put a smile on my face. So with all of my heart, thank you. You can watch how I made the legs here or watch how I made the head here.